These, I mean, these purses are so deep. I can't believe it. Like, like you said, I mean, the picture just cut off with this rack here and you couldn't even see in the pictures the rack behind it. It's crazy. How many pieces of fine jewelry are in here? Look, purses upon purses, bags, handbags, wallets. There's a coach purse here that has a $60 price tag, $65. Look at that. Hey there, everyone. We're back at our $590 unit where you saw jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Remember, this was a consignment shop that had gone out of business. She put all her stuff in storage, and this is the unit that we got from that whole process that she went through. Today, we're going to take a look at, we cleared half of it out. We're gonna get into the other half of the unit. We have this water cooler here so we can chat around the office on Monday mornings at the water cooler. <laughs> <laughs> but no, actually this we will probably keep in our warehouse. These retail for about $100 and we have been talking about getting one, so now we have one. So you just have to keep talking about getting things and then they appear in storage units. All right, so we're gonna just cover what's on the floor here. It's just, it looks like a hodgepodge of things. You got little purses. You got this little box purse, which is adorable. What's in the flower box? Oh, there's three rings in there. Costume, I'm sure. More little purses, a frame. There's all these like, I think they're handkerchiefs. I'm not sure, but they got Brand new polo by Ralph Lauren tags on them. Um, a couple more, some like scarves in the plastic still. More of these polo Ralph Lauren. I don't know if they're a scarf or a handkerchief or a neckerchief. <laughs> um, here's a whole box of supplies. More jewelry down here. Um, here's a what I'm sure is not a real Louis Vuitton. <laughs> another, there's a velour, another scarf. So I don't know if you can see in there, Roy. There's just a bunch more um, button covers, bracelets boxes i mean it's like an arrowhead Whoa. some kind of wow that's interesting yeah i don't think i think it's not real probably not but i mean it's just the fact that and it has a little case that it comes with it there's a book so there's just a hodgepodge of stuff in here more you know more jewelry that it looks like this never got is that a box down there below? yeah never hit the floor this looks like a necklace that lost its strands or string because it's all these little beads all these are little beads what's in that box this box here we got angel books okay and then this is smell a vision do you smell it nope made in italy <laughs> okay Ooh. soap oh Gotcha. I, sm I smelled it. I smell it now. <laughs> As we got closer to the to the bottom of the box, I'm like, oh, there's something that smells in here. Not bad. It smells good, but it just looks like a stack of bags that I'm gonna move out of the way. Those reusable shopping bags. Okay. And look at all this still hidden behind this this rack here. Anything good in there? We have another wireless charger for you. A snow scraper. Um, bags. Oh, oh face shields. Face shields? Hmm. Haven't seen those in a while. I mean, I've <laughs> never seen one except on a person. But there's a whole, well, not a whole bunch of them. And then... 
there's mail in here, newspapers, and it looks like a lot, a lot of, of paperwork. paperwork. Yep. Mm. I think all the rest is paperwork all the way to the bottom. And this one looks like we Ooh, have some purses and bags and oven mitts. <laughs> Just, um, and the, these are pants. Ooh, what designer is that? Is there one? BCBG. Okay. And then we have a polo sport bag. So it's like sort of like a man's um, toiletry bag. And then there's some clothes in here. So this might have been all, maybe all one consigner because it's sort of a mixture of things. We got purses. That says Victoria's Secret. There's a couple belts gloves um shoes these are vince camudos a little rough there's a scarf another belt some more shoes fioni nothing like super great okay we got baby fat this is a random pasta. Pink rock and roll. Love pink rock and roll. That's a cute bag. That's like a fun beach bag. All right, so fingers crossed. I'm going to try and roll this. Oh, it rolled easily. It moves easy. Look at that. <laughs> Here, let me just okay. spin it for you. <laughs> So this kind of gives you a better idea of quantity. This is the unit we saw, and I tried to count the purses that I could see from the pictures um, online, and I came up with 22. I think I was a little off. We're going to try and do a full count and give you guys an estimate of how many purses we have. So... There are some that still have original store tags. Everyone has a consignment, consignment tag, the but like here's the, the original coach tag. There's an original Ralph Lauren tag on this bag back here. Um, there's the other Ralph Lauren price tag, $62 retail. This looks like the original, uh, this is Chico's here. This right here, Burberry, is a very expensive purse brand, but I'm pretty sure that this is um, not not authentic. It feels very plasticky. Um, here's another Ralph Lauren with the original price tags on it, $79. They were selling it in the store for $35, so a little less than half. We got... Um, I, I want to say Vera Wang, but that's not Vera Wang. I don't know who that is. So all kinds of, this is guess. And then you want to come around to the other side. Oh, and look at all the belts. Yep. We got wow. belts here. Some still have the original tags. Okay. Wow. There's a Ralph Lauren. $80. $80 for a belt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is Guess. This is Gucci. I think this is not authentic Gucci. And why do you think that? Um, just the look and feel of it. Oh, and then do you see how offset that is? Yeah. Gotcha. All right. We got this cute little roll can bag. It has travel photos on it. Um, scarves, lots of scarves. Just all kinds of stuff piled in here that we don't even we won't even know, you know, what it is until we literally like sort this stuff out. This is another coach. And what were you thinking when you saw the bags? You, you said you did a quick preliminary count uh, when it was online. Yeah, so I thought about... And you were thinking... If we could sell all the bags 
for around $20 average. I was hoping to get more for some, obviously less, but average $20. Um, and you accounted and how accounted many bags? I about 22. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was where I was kind of going with how much we were going to spend on the unit. Oh, that is Vera Wang. It looks like VS, but I guess it's VW. Okay. So that's this unit here. Oh, I wanted to get down in here. Here is a Burberry box. These shoes have a $325 price tag. Nordstrom. Are they in there? With the original receipt bought in Dallas, Texas. But they are worn. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are very Ooh, warm. A little rough. <laughs> so I would okay. probably not even sell those or see if I could clean them up, but that's Burberry. <laughs> and then, are we recording? Mm -hmm. Roy wanted to see this. What is this? Winston. There's a name on the address there, so. I can't read what it says, so let's see what's inside. Looks like a poster. Posters. Nomination ballot. I don't know what that means. Mm, well. Some kind of fishing. <laughs> Winston, local legends, monster fishing. All right, so we obviously couldn't see any of these. Um, from our pictures, these are pink. All three of those are pink. This looks like Coach, Prada. Prada is always suspect. Juicy Couture, Rolfs. So a few different wallets and wristlets here. That looks like a Coach. And these look like men's wallets. Probably some of them leather. I'd say probably check for money, but uh, yeah. <laughs> the money's I in think, the unit. <laughs> I think that at this point in this whole process, these purses and wallets are empty. Um, and then we have a few things down here. It's North Bend State Park, Cairo, West Virginia. It's a Last Supper box. Looks like Avon. Perfume Paris. Covet Sarah Jessica Parker. It, hold on. It's glaring. I can't really see it. All right. And a little music box that's very dirty. <laughs> Girlfriends for life. Okay, so this is what we could not see in the pictures. And this is just like, it's so amazing. Here's Brahmin. Guess. There's two Kate Spades. Tommy Hilfiger. These back here, brand new with tags. Still have the plastic on the sleeves. There's the other one. Nice tote bag. There's Coach. So we can't obviously show you all these guys, but you can see that there are so many purses here. So many. So keep an eye out for our eBay store, for our whatnot sales, for our YouTube sales, because you're going to see these purses. If you see anything in the video that you like, always reach out to us. We're always happy to, to make any kind of deals on what you guys see as well. We're also curious to know if you would like us to do like a separate video going through the purses, who would be interested in that? If you're interested, um, we'll do it by a vote, but drop a, a, let us know in the comments.
It's a pretty coach with the flower. And again, we can't authentify, authentify, authenticate any of these right now. We're going to have to do some research on them. Like for instance, this Michael Kors bag, it looks pretty real to me because I was doing some Michael Kors research, but I don't know yet. You know, are the Pradas real? I don't know. I want to, I want to say no, because Prada is a very expensive brand, but we're going to have to do the research. And they just go on. And on. And there's like even luggage back there too. We got the top table cleared off. These were just two big, two shelf tables stacked on top of each other. I just wanted to pan through here. We got pink, Victoria's Secret. There's the old Cleveland was Indians, now Guardians. <laughs> we got some travel luggage. And just to show you, you know, some of these are in rough shape. So again, we're gonna have to go through them and just check everything out. See what we have. We even got stuff underneath the table. What do we got? We got kitchen supplies. Yep. <laughs> we got cleaning supplies and we got shelf hooks 